Hey Absters, today I'll be showing you three five minute natural hairstyles which include the mohawk, the mini top bun, and the twist and go. If you'd like to learn how to achieve these looks, stay tuned and keep watching. Products needed for these styles include bobby pins, some type of hair moisturizer, edge control for those edges honey, Eco Styler Gel, hair combs, a pick, a brush, hair bows, and some type of hair gloss. Alright, for the first look we'll be achieving the mohawk. And I begin by sectioning off the part that I'd like to pin up. I then take some of my Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture and I place that on my hair which makes my hair easier to work with. Sorry! <laughs> After placing this uh, curl enhancing smoothie on my hair, I take a brush and brush it in so it can begin to take effect. I then take a hair comb, which saves me from using so many bobby pins, and place that firmly in my hair. And I begin to repeat the same thing on the other side. Placing the two combs, I begin to tuck and pin it until I get it to my liking. When I finish pinning it, I take a pick, or you can use the end of a comb, and it just helps add volume to your hair. You wouldn't want to sit behind me in the movies. Moving on to the mini top bun, I begin by sectioning my hair off into two sections. The top section is for the bun and the bottom section we're putting it away because that's for the hair that will be left out.
I then take some of my Eco Styling Gel and put it on the hair that's about to go into the bun. Know that it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just putting this gel on here to give it some type of control, but it doesn't have to be slicked down and laid to the side. That's one of the perks of being natural. As I begin to put my hair in a ponytail, on the third wrap, I don't pull my hair all the way through, which creates a little mini bun. Oh my God. I then twist and turn and manipulate the bun until I get it to the size and the shape of my liking. After I shake it off, shake it off, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I pick it in order to give it volume. For style number three, the twist and go, I begin by sectioning the top half of my hair into two sections, and usually one section is a little bit bigger than the other. Starting with the smallest section, I take a little bit of hair from the front and begin to twist my hair back. This is no perfect flat twist, I am just literally taking my hair and twisting it. After twisting it, I take a few bobby pins to secure it. I do the same thing to this side, but I end up taking a little more hair because I made the section bigger but I don't use too much because I have really thick hair. I take that hair clip to pin down the back of my hair so it won't get in the way of my twisting. I told you it was thick. See what I have to go through?
I then take a few more hairpins and bobby pins to secure it a little more. And we're all done. And if you'd like, you could always add a cute little headpiece just to give it a little extra something. As always, remember to be uniquely and completely you.